Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Uh, another video about the Canon XA40 professional camcorder, an absolute uh, beast of a device from Canon. The bottom really of their uh, 4K capable professional camcorder range. Beautiful product. Uh, absolutely loving every single day shooting with this guy. Um, and as I'm learning about the camcorder through daily use and you know thinking of things to that might be of interest to other users, I'm just throwing up these videos. So. One of those, uh, in one of the points I realized using this is there's actually three different ways to control zoom, which, if you're coming from a DSLR or mirrorless, might seem a little bit um, ridiculous. But that's kind of the beauty of the camcorder form factor, and that's why these have historically remained the uh, normative or really popular choices amongst people working in ENG, uh, electronic news gathering, broadcasting, documentary work, because where DSLR and mirrorless pack a lot of stuff into the menus. Um, the beauty of camcorders is that you've got a ton and ton of switches. It sometimes lo it reminds me a little bit like the um, you know flight control panel on a Boeing 747. You've got knobs and dials and buttons everywhere, but that's actually a real advantage when you're out trying to get stuff done quickly. You just want to, you don't want to be reaching into menus. You want to just be, eventually it kind of becomes muscle memory. That's the idea behind this. So, um, the three ways to control zoom on this camcorder. So firstly, you have at the front of the camcorder, you have a ring, there's a single ring here. And this is an interchangeable ring that can be used to either control the uh, focus or the zoom. Now the way that that is controlled is in itself a switch. I'll just lift up the camcorder here and I hope you can make that out. Just to the, just to the left of the viewfinder, there's a knob that toggles this between focus and zoom. So I currently have it set to zoom. And if I flip that up to focus, this ring is now controlling focus. So that's, if you like the manual feel of actually moving a ring as you adjust your zoom, uh, you'll really like this. It fe oh, just feels so, so good. Now, one, one other um, good point, I'm just gonna clear off my desk a little bit to try, whoops. One other um, point about this worth mentioning is that um, you can control the zoom speed for all these three things differently. So that might be really useful if you want to say, well, I want the zoom speed on the ring to be fast and on the rocker, which is going to be the second thing I want to show you guys. Rocker's right here and the rocker is slow or, and the top handle is slower. So you can actually have different zoom speeds for each of the three ways. So that's number one is you're going to show you the menu options for adjusting those speeds momentarily. It's a little bit off balance because of the weight of the uh, shotgun microphone here. So number one is using the zoom ring. Number two is using the zoom rocker and this is probably the way that a lot of people will be most familiar with. It's uh, They're labeled W and T which stands for wide and tight. So this is tight and this is going wide. This for reference is the battery in the viewfinder. So as I'm pushing down, I'm going wide and as I'm pushing in, I'm going tight. And as the optical zoom is in transition, you'll get on the menu um, a little sort of, it's like an arrow and it shows you um, as you're moving from, uh, from wide to tight. And finally, I know I'm using this guy always with the top handle connected because I bought this camcorder specifically to have accessorization and to get the pro camcorder look. So um, I leave it like this and on the top handle you have here, you can see I've got a light in the cold shoe but just before the light I have a start stop button for record and just to the left of that there is our third zoom tight and wide again and this one is a smaller one so these can all be controlled as i mentioned using the menu so i'm just going to show you guys how that process works interestingly you can actually disable so i actually was finding when i first started using this this a little bit annoying because i'd kind of accidentally zoom when i didn't want to but um that's up to you so go into the menu and uh you have soft zoom control is off so if you actually if you actually want a fourth way of controlling zoom, uh, you can do that. In other words, soft, meaning it's going to be on the menu. Um, you can actually enable digital zoom as well. You've got your 400 times or digital tele uh, converter. I, I haven't used digital zoom because, to be honest, the 20 times optical zoom just gets me so far. I've never needed, I never even, I rarely even needed the full telephoto length of it. Um, zoom speed level, right? So this is your normal, fast, and slow. Um, grip zoom operation enabled grip zoom speed now you have to look up the manual to know which one of these are but this is important handled zoom operation 
So this refers to the zoom rocker here, and this is where you can enable or disable that. So again, if you're using the camcorder a lot like this, and this is how I use it frequently, you might find that your, you know, your kind of knuckle is rocking up against that zoom handle and causing you to zoom unintentionally or the record button. That's why I imagine the record button actually has a locker. You can lock off the record button. So uh, the zoom rocker on the top handle doesn't have one, but what you can do instead is if you want to, you can disable it uh, using the menu here. Uh, let's just see what else there is. Handle, zoom, speed. Um, Ah, okay, so here's the one I was looking for, so I'll end up with this. On page four of the camera menu, you have a focus zoom ring operation. So remember that this little ring towards the front can be either focus or zoom, but you can actually disable it. So if I disable it now, it's going to do nothing. Enable it is good. And uh, the zoom ring direction and zoom ring, uh, sorry, zoom ring direction. Ah, zoom ring direction. I've had too much coffee as usual before shooting a video, can be normal or reverse, so that's something to uh, to bear in mind as well there. So um, there's no way to soft change that, so you just have to go in there and uh, toggle between zoom and focus. So that's it, uh, those are the three ways you can control zoom on your uh, Canon XA40, and I believe the 50 and the 55 and the 45 all have the same functionalities. Just to summarize quickly, you've got a, uh, you've got a ring, that, a physically operated ring, um, at the front of the camcorder and that can be interchanged between zoom and focus uh, by that little knob just to the left of the OLED viewfinder. Secondly, you have your classic zoom rocker uh, located just to the right of the, um, of, of the OLED and that's the one I probably use most on a day-to-day -day basis. And finally, um, on the top handle you have an additional record button and you have an additional zoom rocker there that you can use and uh, that should give you plenty of options and you can adjust the zoom speed in the menu and you can also if you want finally just to give yourself all the possible options you can enable soft zoom control that can be controlled with the touchscreen LCD. Hope that video was useful if you own the XA40 or uh, XA series of Canon Pro camcorders and uh, if you want to get more videos from me about a whole miscellany of topics please feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel.